The first step to building our app is to set up the OpenAI account. For that, you need to navigate to openai.com. And then in here, if you don't have an account, you need to sign up for a new account. Otherwise, you can just click the login button and provide your credentials. I'm going to provide my email address, then password. And since I have enabled the two-factor authentication, I need to also provide the one-time code and then click the continue button. Once you log in, you are redirected to this page where you get to choose between three options. We're going to choose the third one because we want to integrate the OpenAI models. And then in here, I'll just go to the profile at the top, so top right, and then go to manage account. And from here, we need to just go to the API keys and we need to create a new API key, which we are going to use in our ASP.NET MVC application. So in here, I'll just click create new secret key. I'm going to name this secret key the translate GPT and then click the create secret key button. Now the value that you get in here, it's really important. So what I'll do is that I'll just click this button and then click done. Now the API key that I just created is the only value that I'll get from here because I'll need that value to authenticate the MVC client to be able to request for data from the open AI. Next, just to make sure, go to usage and then scroll down in here and make sure that you have some credit. So in here, you can see that I have $10 and from $10, I've used only 11 cents. Now, when you first sign up for an account, you will be granted with $18 for you to test the open AI. Here at the top, at the navigation menu, you have the overview where you get to see, or if you want, you can just learn about the open AI by following the quick start tutorial. You also have some examples. You can build in here, you can choose what you want to build. You can build a GPT. You can build a speech to text image generation apps. In our case, we're going to build the translation app, but just so you know, you can just come to this overview and in here you get to see what you can build. Next, you have the documentation. In here, you get to learn or you can learn more about all the models that you can use, like for example, the GPT-4, which is the model that we're going to use. You can also use the GPT-3.5. You can use, let's say, the moderation, the whisper, and all these other models. And if you want to learn more about each model, for example, GPT-4, you can just come in here. If you scroll down, this is the latest model of GPT-4. You have a description, the max tokens, and the training data. You see that the data of GPT-4 was trained with data up to September 2021. And this is one of the warnings or the messages that you get when you try to work with the chat GPT. Here on the left, you can also learn about other stuff, like for example, the speech to text, you can learn about the chat plugins, etc. The next important navigation bar item is the API reference. And as the name already indicates in here, you can find anything related to the API objects or API properties that you can use. Then you have the examples where you get some applications that have been built using the OpenAI models. And the last one is the playground where you get to play with some different OpenAI models. Like for example, in here, you can set the mode, let's say to chat, then you can choose the model GPT-4. You can set the temperature, which controls the randomness. Then here you can set the maximum length and all these other properties. Now, I'll not talk about all these other properties or examples or API references because that is not focus of this short course, but I just wanted to let you know about the options that you get on the OpenAI documentation. So now that we have the API key, it is time for us to create an empty ASP.NET Core MVC application.